So welcome everyone to our first Tuesday morning class. This class is focused on reducing kapha dosha, uh, which means heaviness in the system in Ayurveda, uh, as well as um, weight gain, uh, sluggishness, those kinds of things. And it's also related to Thomas, uh, the guna called Thomas. The goal of the class is to bring us to sattva balance, or uh, in Ayurveda, we want to be promoting the positive end of kapha when it's in balance called ojas, which is vitality, immunity. And uh, for all of these reasons, I thought it was really important to offer this class this term during COVID. So if you could just find your spot on your mat, I'm just going to start with uh, warming up neck and shoulders because we're going to be uh, doing sun salutations at the chair at some point, but we're going to do a lot of preparation before we get there. All right, so just to begin with, let's just do an OM together and we're going to do this with the sun. There's going to be a big focus on inviting Surya in. Inhale, arms at the sides, if that's comfortable for you, visualizing the rays of light in all directions. And exhale, gather up that light to your heart as you bow your head to your heart, bend your knees. And you can add an OM on the exhale if you like. And do this in your own timing always, whatever I show. Oh. Inhale, feeling the rays of light in all directions all around you. Exhale, gather up that light to the source of the heart. Oh. Just take a moment to make a heart felt intention for this day, for this practice. And when you're ready, we're going to move into our first asana. You're going to inhale, bring your arms to the side, and you can visualize that radiant light all around you of the sun. That as we go through class, we'll be rising. Exhale. Release, bend the knees, feel the feet. Inhale, feel the radiance all around you. And exhale, feel that spiritual access through your center, all the way down your legs to your feet. And you can add your jai pranayama if you like. You do this in your own timing, we tend to move fairly slowly and mindfully, a pause between inhale and exhale. However, with the kapha dosha, sometimes it's good to move a little faster to get it to move away that heaviness. So 
Later in the class, we will move a little bit faster than sometimes I do and have you experience that, how that changes your body-mind experience. When you're ready, you can start coming up onto your toes. If that's comfortable, you could have a block between your thighs. If you want to add a bit more stability, the feet can be hip width apart. And the alignment of the feet, there's a lot of confusion in yoga on that point. So generally the little toe side parallel, but it depends on the bones of the feet, of the legs, lower legs actually. So for you, it might be different. So look at the alignment of your knees as you do that exhale and make sure they're around your second toes. If they're not, adjust the feet until the knees are aligned. So that's how I presently cue it based on current knowledge. And if any neck and shoulder issues, you can always adjust the height of the arms so you could come up not as high, for example, you could come here and then exhale. You could go down like that, or like this. So play with that according to your mobility. If you'd like, next step is staying up in full Tadasana and balancing. <clears throat> and when you're ready, <clears throat> coming out of that, Moving into a bit more shoulder work now. Inhale, arms coming up and cross at the elbows. Exhale, stay here, drop the shoulders. Inhale, stay here and exhale, release. If you wanna make this more challenging, come up onto the toes as you do this. Now, I myself had my focus more on my toes, I forgot. The focus here, the bhavana is the shoulders. So if you shift your attention to a different part of your body, the energy will go there, the effect. So I'm focusing on one of my shoulders that needs a little bit of love right now. If both shoulders are fine, just focus on both shoulders. And during that exhale, just ask them to drop. Do this a couple more times. You can also spread your fingers apart during that inhale to stretch into the hands. If you've got any arthritis in your hands, that can be helpful. Okay, so hopefully your shoulders feel a little bit warmed up. We're gonna do into, uh, go into some side bends. So for this one, you can hold opposite elbows. If that works for you, as we go into the side bend, you can have your palms together. You can interlock the fingers. So your choice on those arms, inhale, find your spot. And exhale, come to one side as if your back's at a wall. Inhale, center, exhale, side. And put your mind in the area of your body where you feel tightest. So it might be your ribs, your rib cage area. 
might be your hip. And notice any tendency that you have to rotate your front shoulder usually forward. So that's a compensation. And if it hurts you to align, don't align. So that's a insight from my teacher in India, Mr. Sridhar. He's like, alignment is great, but if it hurts you, don't force the alignment, never force it. So that's been a very helpful insight. And gradually, if you work towards the alignment through the tools of yoga, it will come. And since I have scoliosis, I know a ton about this particular topic because when my body's out of alignment, I do certain things to encourage it back to be more aligned and voila, there it goes. So we're just gonna finish up. And release. Okay, we're gonna do one more of those. So this is really important to uh, prepare the neck and shoulders for sun salutations. So we're gonna inhale, we're gonna come up. Now your hands can be together, they can be interlocked or holding opposite elbows. Exhale, go to one side, come down on your heels. It's a little bit more challenge, stay here, inhale. Exhale, inhale, center. Again, your arms can be as you like. Exhale, coming down. Stay here, inhale. Exhale. And keep that going and you can add on a breath or two in the stay position if you like or keep it moving. You can also adjust the arms. Some people like to hold the top wrist, get a bit deeper into that side body. So this whole rib cage area often gets compressed, especially in our Zoom lives. And that can affect our upper back and lower back. And hopefully for some hip issues, this is also feeling good. Just one more round. Whatever version you've chosen of this. And release. Notice how you feel probably a lot of energy in this neck, shoulder, head area. So we're gonna move into warrior poses right now. And this is going to be with a focus again on the neck and shoulders. And then we're gonna start moving into the legs. So starting with your easy side. So I'm gonna show this front to begin with. And uh, you could have your extra mat actually, if you're working like I am, you could have an extra mat here. Just to, those of you who have been to India with me know this mat well. This is my very old travel mat. All right, so bringing one leg forward. Just make sure your mat is straight. That's always a good way to start. So one leg forward, the other leg back. Start with your easy side. The width can be any width that you can easily do stepping back and forth. Bend that front knee over the ankle. Now that back heel could be at the wall, so let me show that since I've got a nice wall here. That's a nice variation to add a bit more stability. The width according to your hips today. And then we're gonna inhale, we're gonna come forward. We're gonna bring the arms to the side. 
And if it's comfortable, you're gonna look up a little bit. And exhale, give yourself a hug. Inhale, lunging forward, lifting your heart and your head, if that's comfortable. And exhale, release. Keep this going about six times. Try to remember to change the crossing of my arms each time. You can rotate those thumbs back if that feels good for your shoulders. And you can stay a breath in each position if you like, or do a hold after inhale. So I'm doing a hold after inhale. This is a way of adding what we call brahmana or expansiveness in the energy. This will heat the body. It will reduce kapha and tamas, that heaviness in the body mind. Then finishing up, that should be about six. Let's give yourself a little shake and go to the other side on your alignment, maybe using the wall for that back heel. Okay, inhale, coming forward and lifting the heart. Exhale, release. When I do this release, I'm rounding the upper back and looking down. Inhale, Coming forward, adding that hold after inhale if you like. And exhale. The hold can be just a couple of seconds or half the length of your inhale if you're able to assess that at this point. Whatever your count of your breath is. And just finishing up. Then come to Samastiti and notice how you feel. Probably a bit more awake. Notice your feet, the weight in your feet. Are you weighed at more in one foot versus the other, or are you in the center? Just notice that, and notice how that changes through your practice. We're gonna do the other side. We're gonna do another round of warrior. Okay, so this one, you're gonna start with your hands like this. I'm gonna show this, this direction this time. Yeah, okay, I'll show it this way so you can see. <clears throat> so for the inhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your chest like this and your elbows to the side. Okay, so that's the inhale. The exhale is like this with your palms together. So the inhale here, so I'll just show this these two ways so you can see those details, I hope. And exhale like this. And again, this is a focus on neck and shoulders which um, is a really important part to warm up for the sun salutations that we're working towards. So starting with that inhale, the hands at the heart, and I'm drawing my elbows 
back, my shoulder blades together and down. So I'm focusing on the neck and shoulders, lifting the head slightly and the sun is rising. Look at that. Exhale, release. Now I'm bringing my shoulders forward and I look down as I do that. My front leg is straight, then inhale. I'm gonna add a hold after inhale of a few seconds and exhale. Keep this going around six times. You might go into a slightly longer stance, but back foot, feel the little toe side coming down. Keep the elbows up if you can. Sounds of morning at my house. <laughs> there he goes. And release. It's comfortable stepping back. Stepping forward and back, you can do different ways. One way is easier, just turn the heel out of the back foot and then step forward, or you can turn that heel out after you step forward, which is a little harder. That back heel could be at the wall, I'm showing it without this time. Same thing on this side, finding that inhale movement, bending the knee over around the second toe, especially if you've got a knee injury, all of these moves should be good for the hips and lower back as well. Exhale, these are general warm-ups. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to have a light sweat, which is the goal of the practice in Ayurveda. Um, depends on what you're doing. We wanna to come to at least a light sweat. If you have a lot of kapha, you might want to sweat a lot, which would be more cardio. If you have less kapha in your system, heaviness, then just that light sweat, just warm, which balances all the doshas. Sometimes with an imbalance, we'll use more heat, more heated langara. Adding that hold after inhale, if you like, to add more heat, more brahmana, more agni, more fire. And just one last time. Finding your samastiti. Notice how you feel. I feel ready to take a layer off. I don't know about you, but that's a good sign. Because it's pretty cold in my room this morning. I don't know about you. We're going to do a four bend after all of that. And we're going to get ready to use our chair for the modified chair sun salutations that I'll be showing. And you're welcome to do those without a chair, of course. We're going to just start with a four bend. So inhale, the arms coming up at the sides. And exhale, forward fold. This is the beginning of our sun salutation. Inhale, visualizing the sun radiating out of the heart. And exhale, forward bend. Now, if you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, post-concussion syndrome, just notice how you feel coming out of the head being lower than the heart. If it's too fast, take a break, break halfway up, inhale, exhale, and then inhale up. Or if you don't add the arms, the arms are weights, so that can take pressure off 
the head and also the heart and the nervous system. So pick your medicine. Sometimes hamstrings can be tight first thing in the morning. I'm bending the knees just to be careful of the lower back. I'm starting to keep them straight as I come up. And then we're gonna stay in the position. And your hands could be on your thighs. Your hands can also be on the chair if you prefer like this. Okay, so I'll show this version for now. Inhale, stiti, exhale, release. So that's one variation. If you're on the floor, inhale, looking up. You could have your two blocks here, hard blocks. Exhale, release. You just warm up your lower back, especially if you have any compression, stenosis, degenerative disc disease, that decompression of the spine, working with the knees, tracking of the knees. When you exhale, bending the knees over the second toes, approximately feeling each foot equally to work with balancing the hips. Pay attention to that sama stiti, that even standingness in the feet. So I have a tendency to go more right because of scoliosis and other things on my left side. So I always have to pay a little bit more attention to my left foot. Try to weight into it. And when you're ready, Coming out of that, and just to go a little further now, we're gonna do one leg at a time. So I'm gonna show with, starting with my easy side, which is my left leg forward. Start with your easy side, whatever that is. I'm gonna bring my arms up in front as I do this. Feel free to bring your arms side instead, okay? So inhale, arms coming to your place at the front or side. You can use also one arm, opposite arm to leg to make it easier. Exhale, bend that front knee to begin with. Get your belly centered on your thigh. Release down. Inhale, coming up, bend that front knee or have the legs straight. Exhale, release. You can also do this at the chair. Inhale. Exhale, coming down. You see, I'm using the chair and I'm not bending my knee at this point because I know I've got that chair. This helps really lengthen through the sides of the body. And it's quite a bit of work. You wanna take some of the weight out. Take a break in between if you like. You can try one arm, that's less weight. I'm gonna go back to both arms. You can add a stay here. Inhale, stiti, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come up. Again, modify the arm. Side is easier. Less weight. One arm, easier than two. Stay here even a little bit longer if you like. So that stiti, that movement up and down just helps warm up the spine, neck and shoulders. Have a look at your back foot. See the little heels down, your front leg. Your front leg can be bent or straight. This is very strengthening for the back on that inhale movement, exhale. Rounding the spine slightly, I'm gonna show that a bit more now. And this is really starting to prepare for our sun salutations. Inhale. Okay, the last one, I'm gonna show staying in the pose. You can do that with me or keep it moving. Your choice. So 
The stain is more challenging from a flexibility perspective and a strength perspective, depending on the pose. This one is more of a challenge, more stidum on the flexibility side, if you can say that, more challenging. You can keep that movement. I call this a dynamic stay when you add movement to a stay just to help encourage rhythm in the breath. Or if you're ready, can you go into breath awareness? Just stay here and meditate. Be in the asana. Asa means to stay, to be rather. Asa, to be. Can you just follow the natural rise and fall of the breath? So this is something I learned from the Iyengar yoga tradition. They don't integrate the ujjayi pranayama with the practice. They work more with breath awareness, which is a wonderful insight. Can you let go of the lengthening in the breath and just observe the breath? And when you're ready, I'm going to step forward to come out of this more lazily after a deep stretch. I really encourage you to come out of it very slowly. This is both for the circulatory and nervous systems. You might feel a little lightheaded after doing that. For Ben, we're going to do the other side. Hopefully your hamstring has woken up a little bit as well as your back hip. We're going to do the other side. Hopefully you remember which side it is after we took you into yoga. So you can meditate when you do asanas. I think this is something that is not understood very well, but please meditate as you do your asana practice, your movement practice. Inhale, arms up, exhale, lengthening through the top of the spine, but drawing the belly in. So you should see my lower back rounding a bit. I'm gonna bend my front knee to create more stability for my back. Say hi to my hamstring, it's morning. Say hi to my back. And keep this going your own timing. You know what you're doing now. Arms front or side, you can use opposite arm as front leg or even same arm as front leg. It's gonna be very good if you've got one side of your back a little shorter than the other. As in some sort of scoliosis or imbalance in your hips, shoulders. Maybe you start keeping that front leg straight as you move. If you have a lower back issue, do consider bending it as you move to make it a bit safer, easier. And if this is your harder side, just moving a little more carefully, listen carefully to your body. That's how we avoid injuries. That front knee is not very stable, bend it. It will create more stability. Starting to add a stitty, inhale, looking up, exhale forward, a one breath stay. And you can play with that. You can add more breaths, no breaths. Sometimes I skip this last part, the hands coming down in between when I'm in a rush, which is not ideal, but sometimes that's just the best way to get your practice completed in a short amount of time. And then if you're ready, just stay in the position and you can bend and straighten that front knee as well. 
You could use just one arm. And are you ready to let go of the coordination of breath and movement and just meditate in the pose with breath awareness? Follow the inhale, follow the exhale. When you're ready, lazily stepping forward, finding your feet, hands to your thighs, inhale, exhale, stay, inhale, coming up, and find your samastiti. So in this class, we're not going to be ending with Shavasana. We're going to be ending with some pranayama meditation to keep the energy up. We've got perfect amount of time to just start working towards the sun salutations. By the end of the term, we'll have sun salutations with mantra is my goal. But we're going to start off slow. We started with our forward bend. I'm going to show you at the chair that forward bend. You're welcome to not use the chair if you know you don't need one, okay? So this is a therapeutic modification. All right. So inhale, the arms coming up. So with my setup, I'm not going to be showing arms at the side. So the arms can be side or front. Exhale, forward bend. You can bend those knees or not. Inhale, I'm gonna add a stitty here. Exhale, forward. Inhale, arms overhead or to your sides. Exhale, draw that sun to your heart. And Mr. Desikchar gave this to me in my personal practice in January 2002. He was a lot younger, and he actually showed the arms just like this. He didn't do that side movement that we often do. But feel free to add that side movement of the arms. Inhale, stiti. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, coming up, full Tadasana. Exhale, samastiti, drawing the sun to the heart. We're gonna add on, inhale up. Instead of the stiti, we're gonna do a step back. Exhale forward. I'm going to come a little closer to my chair now. Inhale. I want you to bring one leg back, whatever feels like it's your easier side. So that's your lunge. So you could be doing this at the floor. You could be holding on to blocks or nothing or on your fingertips, your choice. Exhale, bend that back knee a little bit or all the way down if it doesn't hurt your knee. Inhale, extend that back leg. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, coming up. 
Exhale, starting position. I'm just going to move my chair a little bit to the side so I can have a bit more space. Let's take a little pause here. So I do that. Okay. There we go. I think that'll work better. Okay, we're going to do the other leg now. Inhale, coming up. There, I can do my side now. Exhale, forward. Inhale, stepping your other leg back. So you might, be able to, you might need to step your front foot forward a little bit too. Exhale, bend, you can just stay your, or bend that knee a little bit, or if you can put pressure on the knee, bring it down. Be careful if you've got an injury. Inhale, extend. Exhale, forward. We really prepared for this with our warriors. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, Samastiti. Feel the light shining at the heart, center of the sun, the radiance of the sun. Release into your Samastiti. Inhale, feel that radiance of the sun all around you. Exhale, feel that Shoshumna channel right through your center, that axis spiritus, that spiritual axis right through your center. Inhale, stepping one leg back. Exhale, bend the knee if you can. Inhale, extend. Exhale, forward. Inhale, coming up. Now at this point, if you want to get a bit more heat in the body, I give you permission to move a little bit faster if you've got therapeutic stuff going on where that's not a good idea. Um, move slower and more mindfully, but if you want to get a bit, a bit more heat, you can move even faster than I'm going to show. And that makes it a bit more challenging. Inhale. Exhale, so I'm speeding it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm still moving mindfully. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If you want to make it more challenging, I'm just going to show removing the arms from the chair on the lunge. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to bring my arms up. Inhale to add a balance. Exhale. Inhale. Feel free to skip that part. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. For our last asana today, just to finish it up, I want you to step back. Eventually we'll do this in a flow. I want you to do chair down dog. So if your wrists are a problem, um, the mat helps a lot on the chair. You can also hold the sides of the chair. If you've got a bench, a stool, like my teachers in India use, you can use um, a stool that's wider. I decided to demo with the chair because I thought most of you would have that. But if you do have something wider, uh, you can make your hands wider. You can adjust where your hands are. You can have them facing more out and create uh, more width for the shoulders. 
So just staying in this position and breathing. This is our last pose today. And you can add a stitchy to it. Inhale, looking up. This is particularly good for rounded upper backs, for kyphosis in the neck and shoulders. And it's leading towards an upward facing dog, just like the stitchy in the Ford Bend led us towards the lunge. This concept I'm working with is vinyasa karma, working step by step building the practice. And when you're ready, are you ready just to stay and be? Let go, lengthening the breath, just stay here. Observe the rise and fall of the breath. Feel the body. Feel the hands where they are. The feet where they are. When you're ready, coming forward, stepping forward. Put your head on the seat of the chair if you like, release their arms down and hold the chair if you like or not. Roll the head, the forehead, so that your chin slightly tucked in. And when you're ready, coming up halfway, inhale, hands on the thighs, bending the knees, exhale, stay. Inhale, coming up. And feel free to add a sweater or a pair of socks as we move into our final meditation. And hopefully you all got a bit warm during that. I'll find out at the end of the class, but I hope we reached our goal. And sitting on the chair or if it's comfortable for you, you can sit on the floor or if you're not comfortable seated, you may lie down if that's better for you today. And just notice how you feel having made a choice to wake up with yoga this morning. I'm just going to do some breath awareness to end today. Inhale, M. Exhale, light. Place the hands anywhere you like. You might like to have them at the heart. You might like to have them out to the sides as if your arms are part of those rays of light. Feel free to move your arms at any time, your hands. I'm going to cross my arms to create some bilateral stimulation for my system, some balance. Feel free to visualize the source of the sun at the heart and the rays of light in all directions. Drop the head into the heart. And 
even if you like, you can visualize moving clockwise and then anti-clockwise through those rays of light emanating out of the heart. And when you're ready, ready, bringing, gathering up that light to the heart. Om Shanti to end with, this means peace in our thoughts, words, actions, body, speech, mind. Peace protecting our own selves, others, and our environment. Self, others, and everything around us. May this peace protect us. Shanti, 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 Hari, Om. Hari Om, may all obstacles be removed from that conscious link between us called Om the source of all, however you want to name that. Namaste. Thank you very much.